Okay, there we go. Hey, you can actually hear me now. Okay, there we go. So, uh, basically the recap of all this was that uh, last time at the end of the stream, we tried the paralog battle, failed miserably. Um, I, I believed the level thing and it was wrong. I needed to bring my A-team. Uh, so, I think we might try that again, but in the meantime, we're gonna try the rare battle here with the A-team because it's level 34. But yeah, that was embarrassing. That was so embarrassing. Um, so yeah, we're we're trying to figure out who to who to bring here. Um, I guess Claude can't bring anyone. Oh, maybe except um, yeah, actually, <laughs> thank you, Saf, for letting me know. Uh, Shamir, actually, Shamir might work out. range plus two that hmm. but she might not be the right one for this mission um who what is heart seeker oh okay damn uh let's see let's see let's see Oh, Alois. Panto just means you can move after the action. It doesn't do anything about trains. It's okay. Flame has terrain resistance. That would be useful, actually. Hmm. Manuela also has terrain resistance. Hmm. Uh. Oh, poor Sylvain. You're so far behind. Oh, okay. Well, I guess, uh... I don't know. I think we have enough players right now. We don't need to bother with setup, do we? There's all these prowesses. Fine. Yeah, yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking, actually. I don't know that I do have a lot to gain. Yeah, that's kind of what the last thing showed me. So, um... Who else do we have? Hannah, Lawrence... Oh, Hilda's a Wyvern Rider! Oh! Okay, no! Hilda, you're definitely- yeah, sorry, C Cyril. Like... Sorry. Uh, we need two more adjutants, though. Hmm... Hmm... But... who? Marianne? Maybe... Uh... Shamir. Shamir? Shamir. Sure. Uh, who else? Oh! No, Raph already has one. Me! Why not me? Alright. Me and Manuela. That should be good. Alright. 
And you're good. Oh, Petra. Yeah, let's uh, make you an assassin instead of a thief. I am now closer to my goal. We should uh, we should do something with you. Kahneman definitely needs to become a warlock instead. This could benefit my research. I can also become a Pegasus Knight. Why not? I am eager. Wow. Okay, we're reclassing a lot of people here. I'll make the most. All right. So it said something about. Maybe Quad takes Flame. This Flame has been pretty useful with her uh, rescue trick. I gotta say. Alright, now who has what from? All the stuff that we've picked up. Hello! Hello! How are you doing, friend? What is up with you? What new cocktails have you been uh, concocting? Oh, I don't need any of those. Any of those, although... HP plus 5, I feel like we can finally trade out for something else. But what? But uh, what? Magic? Magic would be nice. Sure, you know, maybe we'll keep the plus five HP there for a bit. Ah, uh, Claude. Yeah, I feel like that's fine. <laughs> Thank you very much. Dehydrate and then hydrate. Okay, we have we have the one-two punch here. Uh, let's see, let's see what we've got in here. Shit was actually pretty smooth. That was... I don't know, usually it, it, it burns me a bit more. That was actually fine. Um, thank you, Hohenheim. Hello, hello, friend. What's up with you? Tweaked a godfather tonight. Let's see, two ounces of caramel bourbon. Oh, that already sounds good. One ounce of amaretto half an ounce of cherry juice and two dashes of Agostura. Ooh. Ooh, that does sound really good. Now, when you use cherry juice, do you use um, sour cherry juice or um, just plain sweet stuff? Oh, a pinch of salt! Being, okay, so very, very sweet then. Pinch of salt, okay. I may have to try adding that to some of my cocktails, because the salt 
could definitely bring some stuff out. Let's see. Just out and about in town, picking up a partner from work in nine minutes. Okay. Right, you do you, Sour? Yeah, because, like, with the caramel bourbon and the amaretto already, how sweet is that? Is that um, something that the salt helps with? Because that seems like it would be very, very sweet. Which isn't necessarily a bad thing. Oh, she does have level four in, sorry, level three in faith now. Oh, he didn't have sour, yes. Making room in liquor cabinets. I have been on that quest so many times. I feel like I should level up each time I actually like get rid of the thing that I, you know, meant to. Okay, sweet. The salt would hopefully mellow it out a touch. Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking. Maybe, I mean, maybe some acid too. Depending on which way you wanted to take it. Okay, Battalion Guild, we want some more. Oh, no Battalions to replenish, okay. Alright, wait, what can we forge the Rapier into? Okay, just a Rapier plus that. I don't know what I expected, honestly. Iron Boat, wow, you've never used any of those. I said Lance, hello. Plus and last plus. Okay, well, that, again, that just kind of makes sense. Hmm. I feel like Petra's Killing Edge can maintain for a little bit. Short spear. You know, maybe we do this. Yeah. Uh, Blood Orange will play li nicely also. Yeah, 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 yeah. Been fresh lime with tacos for dinner, so it was on the palate. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I do love a good fresh lime squeeze over tacos. Just organized one of my partner's parents' Christmas gift. Anything you can share, Hohenheim? It seems so early to be thinking about Christmas. Come back soon. Well, actually, I just realized have I bought My allotment of seals. Is that the one? Uh, I apparently oh, have, or rather, one? I don't need to worry oh, about is that it. The one? <laughs> okay, if we need seals, we can get seals. Got it. Come back soon. Okay. Uh, yeah. Let's uh, let's save there and. Let's see about this. Oh, right, I should rearrange people. Okay, so we're gonna have flyers over here. Um, you have train pistols, right? What am I even looking for for train resistance? Is that. Lysithia not have terrain resistance? Is that only flame? Okay. Ah, neither of you do, huh? That's terrain resistance, the boot. Okay. Hmm. In that case, maybe we... Both of you here. Petra, why are you using the bow by default there? Hmm. 
She paid for a trip for her mother, father, her sister, and herself to go to Bonaire of the Carib in the Caribbean in March next year. Oh my God, that's amazing. Parents got married there and have been wanting to go back and visit. That's, that is such an incredible Christmas gift. Hohenheim, that's insane. They're gonna be so happy for that. Oh my God. All right, so the plan here is send... Oh boy. Leone, your horse is not gonna do quite that well. Okay. Let's swap you out. Um. Yeah. It's the 30th wedding anniversary in March, so it's all arranged. Yeah. Oh. We'll be managing their business while they're away. What? It's okay if I ask what they do. Um, what kind of thing are you managing? Uh, let's see. A drink with raspberry lemonade and creme de mure and vodka. Oh my god, so much acid. Seriously. Uh, yeah. <laughs> then you had key lime pie. Okay, at least key lime pie, like, it's on the sweeter side of things. So there's that, but yeah, geez. have you lead. We can at least keep all of you together. Okay. Well, maybe you... Yeah, you swap there because you've got a bow. Yeah, okay. Farmer that does a paddock to place business in Zealand. Oh. Okay. Paddock to place business. Okay, that should be a fun management experience. And yeah, the Caribbean is going to be so much fun. Alright, let's see how we do with this one. Oh, no, wait! I just realized. I just realized. Hang on. Uh, retreat. I meant to equip triangle attack. I wanted to do that. I wanted to see if I could actually use it. And especially with that monster, I bet that it will be uh, very, very useful. Abilities. No, not abilities, combat arts. Triangle attack, okay. We don't really need hit and run with something that has Kanto. Does Claude also have to... Claude does not have triangle attack. It's seriously only Ingrid? Okay, I guess it's only Ingrid. Well then. Now we go. Okay. Oh no, I have to do all the rearrangement. Okay, fine. Ah. Uh. Save that again and then start. Um, mostly managing the irrigation system, plowing into fields for fallow, and fertilizing in advance for the summer crop, and the summer they're sowing oats. Oh, are they now? <laughs> I have never heard that as an actual phrase that someone uses.
But yeah, I mean, obviously it has to be, right? Okay. Shall we? Ooh, that takes a lot off, but you know what? It's probably worth it. There we go. Sorry, but it's <laughs> Excited to ride the large combine. Combines are huge. No, you are you are correct, my friend. My orders? Oh, sorry. Ready when you are. Okay, you. Oh. What I actually meant was go there. Oh, 48 HP, okay. Okay. Well then. Too slow. I'll this quickly. Oh, that'll work. My nice duty. Really she it. doesn't even come halfway up the real wheel. <gasps> Those things are enormous. I'll make up for the setback. Yeah, she's six foot four. No, they are. Yeah. At the ready. It is insane how big those things are. Could use fail not. I could just curve shot with the iron bow. Yeah. Twelve plus hour days. I mean, yeah, that seems likely. Farming, farming is not a fuck around business. I'm back. Leave it to me. Mm. I will prevail. All right, let's see how killing edge does here. Ooh, not good. Not good at all. Maybe we let Lysithia take care of him. Because, yeah, she's just going to tear him apart. Oh, I get all the heals compared by the time they're back is another surprise. That, I mean, that would be amazing. I will not die yet. Getting to rest. Oh, now you bastard warlock. Okay. Yeah, getting to rest after a vacation like that would be incredible. Strategy. One hit point. Oh my god, you're kidding me. Ah. One third crit? Oh, not quite. Okay. <sighs> not my best. Yeah, the bow's gonna do nothing. Alright, what are we looking at here? More okay. fighting. destroy him. Oh. 
It's probably only usually those four to five per day, so we should be able to get ahead somewhat easily. Half prep it's meals and drinks in advance, like but that's worth it too. Oh my god, you're just you're really killing it on this present, Hohenheim. I fight and grow. <laughs> He's stoic as heck and really talks and just praise of any kind. Oh, one of those. I see. Yes. Yeah, there's nothing going on there. What if you dismount? Oh, hey. Okay, some pepper over there. It's gonna hurt. Oh no, Dorothea is definitely gonna get a I'll do my best. bit of a bit of a shot there. Oh, she's also going to get hurt there. Okay. Well. Ha! That'll do it. That's another one. I. Impressive I have always. never heard of Bartender Glass of God. Tell me about it. I. Uh, and yeah, I am an, an anime fan. I haven't watched a lot of it for a while. Um, and I don't have a Crunchyroll subscription, but uh, I might be able to find this elsewhere. So yes, please do tell me. Like this with all gifts? Oh my god, you're really throwing a lot into it. Uh, proposing next year. Okay, yes. Yeah, yeah, no, that's a, that's a good... Uh, that's a good uh, strategy. Full Metal Alchemist, yes. <laughs> of course, you're almost free. Really? Oh, okay. I did not realize. Okay, we need to do something about you, though. Wow, okay. <laughs> okay, yeah, absolutely. Both of you come come get it. I feel my strength. Child of the night sky? Oh my god, that's so poetic. I thought it was a different. Oh, it, I guess it was a different kind of monster. It's win or die. Uh, somewhere, bartender glass of God. A quiet bar lies tucked away I'm in the streets of Tokyo, but at what and cost? Ryu has a gift. He knows how to soothe the soul with the perfect drink. Okay. <laughs> And Alphonse's father, yes. Okay, well this definitely makes it easier for me to attack that. Hmm. 
I shouldn't strain myself. Oh, yeah, you definitely need a bit of a heal, don't you? Uh, greatly heals in chest. You know what? Yeah, let's do that. Sweet of you. I'm almost to another level of magic. Left on this rose. Yikes, okay. Oh no. They're gonna really tear her apart though. Well, that's where Lysithia comes in. Different names, similar but not the same. Ah! Basic bartender is him just living his life. Did a decent job just describing the ideological style of Japanese bar service. Okay, so wait, what? Having never been to a bar in Japan, what is the ideological style of Japanese bar service? Gotta have him leave. Okay, yeah, absolutely. No. Hohenheim, please. You're picking up your partner. I assume that uh, she's in the car and feel free to love me and leave anytime. Um... And okay, yeah, no, uh, don't don't stress about it. But it is, as always, a pleasure to have you here. So yeah, hope to catch you a little later on. Armor is broken. Okay. Uh, Gambit? Can we... No. That was the right place to put it. Yes. Yes. Okay. Time for a secret scheme. That will also get one of the enemies. I think, right? Yes! Oh, that's so satisfying. No, oh, let's just uh, stay right here. Service like full on high end. Dig up a few videos and drop them in Discord. Yeah, I would appreciate that because this sounds like something I would love to experience. All right, and now can we triangle attack? We can triangle attack. Okay, let's do it. I want to see this. Okay, for something that requires that much setup, that was a little bit underwhelming as an animation.
All right, well. All right. Let's see how we do here then. Yeah, that did hurt. Gotta say. Nice try. Samurai in Tokyo is high-end show bar. The price rows are fantastic. And that's the bar in the anime. I gotta say, I did expect Raph to be a lot more useful. Hilda, of course, has to go for the armored one. That's fine. You're making me oh, it's a real one. Don't get used to this. <laughs> yep, I'm stronger now. Right, Hilda. I shall not stray. Attack with your mini bow. Oh, drop TikTok Samurai video of nine best bars in Tokyo. Oh, thank you. Okay. Yes, I'm not. Up. Uh, yeah, check Discord, obviously. All right, we'll just. Have you go up here? You attack the javelin, battle. Yeah, that'll work. I will destroy you. Oh wow! How about a curtsy? That's a good crit. A predictable a success. Crit. Master level chef of bar service. Winning is what matters. Okay, I'm into this. As soon as this, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll look at the videos. I'll look at the TikTok. Hey, Felix. Yeah, we did need to level you up, didn't we? Okay, there we go. And it's on the Rhodos Coast. TOSA video is almost 20 minutes. Holy shit, I did not know TikTok allowed videos that long.
Oh, the video's on YouTube. TikTok, okay, yeah. See, that's what I thought. TikTok was like 40, uh, 30 seconds. That was much more what I, I figured. Okay, so this monster's in the... You know what? Hmm. Since I have this team already equipped, do I want to... Just do the paralogue? Maybe I do. Maybe I do. Okay, you want to see the reaction to TikTok? All right. Okay, we can do this. All right, let's see here. Um... Okay. Oh, let's see. Here we go. Okay. And we'll turn that on. Oh, I thought that was supposed to turn on. Okay. Well, never mind. Just got a bunch of really good work done. I refreshed the ticket spices a bit. I'm sitting down to eat. Yes, good. Good. I'm glad. Okay. So let's reload this. Wow. <laughs> the smoothness of those moves. Oh my god. Okay, so apparently that does not restart the thing. Let's see that again. Like you would expect it to be sped up, except that you see the person in the background just pass by. That is incredible. Okay, that's that's very anime-like for sure. <laughs> oh, there we go. Holy wow! Right, right, Saf. Oh my god. Okay, let's uh, yeah, let's deploy for Forgotten Hero. Let's see what this is. See how we're doing here. Let's get owned again. Let's just reach the flame. I'm going There's for it no again. To feign ignorance. I know all about you. We're just Perfect. Don't it? I'm telling you, it is said the truth. No. No matter. Busy October? Yeah, I am. I'm gone for, for most of October. Uh, so I'll be back quest. for, I think, the last week. The uh, but other than that, yeah, it's uh, going to be yes. adventures, it's, adventures, adventures, and high crafty. It was like the negative of people, his whole clan, but even now, my family, Maurice's, those who carry. Yeah, people are. All right. That maybe if you and. All right, you. let's try this. I promise you won't tell. I'm sorry to... Uh, although I see that we're going to have an ad starting in just a couple minutes anyway. So I think maybe I will put this up on BRB so we can run an ad, get a little bit more uh, actual game time for those of you who aren't subbed. Uh, and then we can come back and prep for this. Uh, and in the meantime, I can get another drink. All right, uh, sit tight, be back shortly, and then we can do this. All right, thanks all. That whole game. Oh, yes. <laughs> that bicep, yes. <laughs> or this bicep yes yes i could i could totally write those on it
just a thirsty fangirl, that's okay. I like my thirsty fangirls. My thirsty fangirls are the best. Okay. Um, let's switch over to... Same without you. The stools are empty. Glass. Oh, god damn it! It's Jim, so it's gotta be a British accent. Hey there, cool angel. The, I. Ah! Uh, ah! That sounds the same. That's the same. That's the same as the way I was speaking before. That's not British, that's kiddish. Um. Here. Whoa! What? 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 I'm sorry, is there a Mimic Octorox? What? What the fuck is this bullshit? Zelda doesn't have Mimic, what? Hey, I... What? for it as a dessert Daisy sold enough candy bars this year to get the top prize. A canoe! We're taking it out next weekend. How is that even possible? Amanda could barely get one of those sticky hand things. It's extra powerful. You lose 20 hit points. Oh, shit. All right, Brian. You're going down! What the fuck is DHTR? Daughter? Daughter. Daughter! Press the daughter. Can't switch daughters. Amanda's your only daughter. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh wow. Hi. I'm Kit. I'm the most wholesome, horny content on the internet. Welcome. Um, late peachy raid, Boomy! Yes, <laughs> welcome, Boomy. Welcome. Uh, so proud of me. So proud of me for being a cum person. Wait, hang on, Peachy. I mean, I mean, thanks. I'll take it. But is that really? Is is that? I what? I. <laughs> uh, I'll take it. Sure. Why not? Hey. <laughs> Fine, but cum is okay? Cum is okay. I won with cum. Perfect. I won with cum, but not cums. Seriously? Seriously. Uh, I love that all of this has come about because I'm just idolized by boomers. <laughs> Which describes my entire childhood. <laughs> Hello! Hi there! Do I... Do I smash your glass thing? Do I... What do I do? If I smash the glass thing, I'm, I'm not going to kill you, am I? Hello! Alright, that's... <gasps> I didn't kill you! Yay! Okay. Good goodbye. Um, goodbye. Goodbye. You're adorable. Oh shit. 
No, my God, no. No, that's too many arms. I don't... I don't like those arms. No! No, don't punish me! Okay, now, uh, reset. Oh, no! 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 Oh, no. Oh, dear. No bugger. Uh, that was a little bit shaky. Ah. I'm glad you all get to witness my terrible, terrible singing voice. All right. <laughs> All right, yes. Good night, Loki. Sorry I missed you. Um, excited for Thursday whiskey tasting? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Um, let me know how it is. Uh, back up in Washington from last week of October. Hooray for planned fixed duration travel. Yes. Uh, although you did just spend quite a while up there. Um, and no, I have not implemented crossword. Uh, sorry, Crafty. Um, really, I'm more of a, like, words on stream kind of person, although crossword uh, is better for, like, low numbers of people. I will say that. Okay, so we're doing this one again. This is... This is a tricky one right here. So we've got Marianne up there. We have hella beasts all around here. Um, we are going to need a lot of help here. Okay, so. You know, maybe the flyers are not the move this time around. Um, there's a lot of forest here, which will ha hamper movement, but it will also make it less likely that the beasts are going to hurt us. On the other hand, the flyers could be really good at harassing. Move in, attack, fly away, or just get to somewhere really quickly. Um, do I need three of them? Hmm. Which is sort of void in woods or void blocks with a battalion that ups a void for Marianne. Yeah, yeah, I like the way you're thinking there, Sap. Okay. First things first. Welcome. I mean, this is clearly going to require the 18. Okay, that's actually pretty good. Fire's really useful here to open up fog. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Come back, that's also a good point. Okay. So Petra. Does not Okay, apparently I don't get to see an avoid on this list. <laughs> okay. She does have Bane of Monsters. Yes, that is true. Um, but Dex of 30, Speed of 38, I think... I feel pretty good about what... What's... Oh, sorry. What's wrap speed? Speed of... 12? What? How's that possible? 38? Okay, what's my speed? 32, okay. Oh, Fortress Knight debuffs it a lot. I see. That makes sense. Oh, right! Hey, how about that? Okay, avoid. Uh, Alright, so Raph is definitely suffering in that department for a change. Hmm. Ingrid is not bad at all, though. Hanuman. Okay, no wonder Hanuman got completely crushed last time. Catherine. 
Oh, maybe I should use Catherine. Let's get Catherine in there. Um. You know what, Leone? I think this is just not your battle. Catherine's attack speed being eight is not okay. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think he's going to make the cut, honestly. Okay, let's see what we have here. Okay, so that's me. Got craft there. Let's swap you two out. I mean, watch me equip for a battle like this now that you know what you're seeing. <laughs> Fair, Seth. Fair. All right. Arguably the most important thing, battalions. Marianne. Okay, so you've got one shot out of that one. I'm not liking things that have only one shot in this battle. We've got a lot of them. Hilda has no battalion at all. That can oh no oh no Hilda okay well Hilda's got to sit this one out then I'm sorry you have to have at least enough authority to have a battalion your fingers are itching <laughs> to uh, to play do you mean or this is the most interesting re equip I've had to do. <laughs> I think I'm going to have to give it to Leone. Sarah is pretty good, though. Or Shamir. Or Shamir. Or Shamir. I'll bet Shamir would work really well here. <laughs> to do this the re-equip prep stuff. Yeah, okay. I can see that like starting to be an itch for you. Alright. Marion, what else can we do here? These are currently equipped. So we've got disturbance, stride, there's not my magic, fusillade. really good for a hard battle like this? Really? Okay, because I was favoring things that could get down the, um, the armor of these things. Bandits and pirates, just generic. Bandits and pirates. And rogues. Rogues, bandits, and pirates. Well, so you can only take one damage. Eh? That does seem useful. That is true. She 
does not have a lot of options here. Of the impregnable wall thing, I recommend you unequip and re-equip all the battalions starting with flyers A and B level. Okay. Making sure everyone you aren't using is unequipped of good battalions. Oh, right. Okay, here we go. I don't have an A. Okay. Onslaught. Stride. Lure. Assault Troop. I do like Assault Troop. Oh yeah, start with the flyers. Ha! Huh? Yeah, so Claude definitely get gets his um, Immortal Core. Angrid. Angrid with an impregnable wall could actually be the move. She could fly anywhere she needs to and, uh, and deploy it. And she doesn't have a whole lot of other options. Yeah, maybe we do that then. Is Flame even okay? Claw and Earth Okay, Ingrid, she okay. We only got two flyers. Alright. Well. Uh I don't think we have anyone with authority, eh? Indeed, we have no one with authority A. Okay, so B's it is. The October trip is for a family unit and potentially moving some of the furniture grew up with Washington to my place in the Bay Area. Oh, that's gonna be interesting. And actually kinda of comforting. Square footage is needed anyway for modern plans. After my own room renovation project is done, I get to have a mirrored dresser and a tall chest of drawers that were my mother's drawing. This all depending on cross-checking room fits, I get to pre-inherit their dining room set. Oh, a good dining room set is so good, though. Um, just trying to find one is such a pain. The table that stands out in my memory is the table my brother and I would sit at for early computer gaming in the late 90s. Nice. Yeah, sort by avoid. Alright, Marianne. What do we have here? Endurance. Authority. Ah. 
Oh, that's a smart way of doing it. Okay. It shows us the one she can use at the top. That's good. That's good. Fuselad. That B-level assault troop one? Okay, yeah. We'll, uh, we'll make sure someone has that. Oh yeah, yeah. I have that that B levels. Okay, the Goneril Valkyries uh, might have to go to let's see here actually. Petra, Ceres Magicor, no Fuselad. Gloucester Knights? Oh, Gerald's Mercenaries. Hmm. Oh, Lysithia. I see. I got the Gloucester Knights equipped. Ingrid. Doesn't need... Well, because Byleth has the sword that runs on magic, is why. Physic attack six, magic attack six. I don't. Oh, but yeah, debuffing uh, Lysithia. Fair enough. Okay, we'll swap them, I guess. Katra, Ingrid, Catherine, okay. good for Shamir, and then Manuela, I don't think they, well, I don't know that Agitants actually need things. Well, listen, when he runs in, he really shoots off before he goes to bust, 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 bust
Um, I s do adjutants need battalions as well? Whatever, I'll just equip a few things to each of them. Plane. Is there a non-flying one? There is not a non-flying one. Okay. The attacking one can use the buff? Okay. No. Gerald's mercenaries on someone. That is true. That is true. You know what? I feel good about... Did Shamir take it? see how we do here and grab some torches actually that's a good plan oh no yeah actually that's another good thing not uh, vulnerary is concoctions Not a lot of torches. Okay. Yeah, that's good because I don't have that many. of torches. Thanks a bunch. Come back soon. All right, Marianne, you get a torch. We got a torch. Trade a trade secret for a torch. That's why it's called a trade secret. You get a torch. You get a torch. You get a torch. You get a torch. Catherine, guess what? You get a torch. Shamir, you get a torch. All right. I think that will do it. Okay. Ingrid, I don't think we're going to run into too many problems with that. And if you do, you can always... Let's see. Okay, so abilities... As it was before. White patch of glory plus 20. Hmm. Probably not. What is it? Closer? 
prevents the enemy from moving. Okay, well that's definitely better than Diamond Axe, which was for some reason on Claude. It's a little weird. Uh, Raphael. There's one space past the enemy. Mm. No. Monsters. Don't need triangle attack with only two flyers. So we'll do hit one instead. Monsters. Okay, monster blast. Oh. She definitely does not need frozen lance. <clears throat> Special Western Swords. Silver Sword. Mercurius. Oh. Right, I think I don't have Mercurius for that or something like that. See how we do. Uh, are you really the wandering beast that? You, do you bear our crest? Our crest? Does... It appears that your present. Ready when you are. Yeah, that's a lot of monsters. Holy crap. Okay. But these three are down to half armor. Oh, they're weak to those weapons. Oh, I see. Okay. That's good to know. Thank you. I'll do my best. Hmm. What's my strategy? What a good question. What is my strategy? Hmm. 
Hmm. All right, so we know of at least four monsters here. There might be a fifth one lurking in the back over here somewhere. I'm not entirely sure. Or up there. There could very well be a fifth one up there. Uh, I mean fifth besides the big bad one here. Um... Oh, you have two health bars. Okay. Leave it to me. I will prevail. Oh, you could run right up. Let's make this quick. Let's see. All right, we're just going to get defensive here. Crush them all. More fighting. She sounds so resigned. And hey, yeah, that was probably Catherine. Why not? Oh, hello. Okay. All right. So Catherine's gonna get hit. I'm gonna get hit. Okay. It's not so bad. Let's clean up. That should leave one left on it, right? Oh, yes, yes. No, two left. Okay. No, one left. Is it going to regenerate at the uh, next turn? That is the question. Right. I'm just gonna have a wait, actually. Going so much better already than uh, the previous one. <clears throat> there we go. Oh, on the 
Retaliation, I like that. <laughs> this is... That was a ridiculous duel. Watch and learn. got a lot of them here that are up to no good. Okay. Well, first things first, let's see if we can do something with this one. Have a gambit? Oh, you do. Okay. Why couldn't you use your gambit? Right here. Okay, that's curious. Oh, she has impregnable wall. That's it. Of course. All right. First of all, let's put the edge here. Try the gambit here. I'm here to help. Oh, nice gambit Strategy. boost. Quite unfortunately, not quite. Although that could still work for. Oh yeah. Oh, but she. She can't do a gambit. Right. But Claude can. Oh, and that would actually work perfectly for getting both of them. Come on. There we go, I think... Is that the space? That is not the space that I want. 
Oh, but that'll do it. Oh, that'll do it nicely. Oh, yes it will. Okay, that'll get everything. We'll cover you. Good time for a secret scheme. It is a good time for a secret scheme. You're right, Claude. I'm that much closer to my... Okay, look at that. Nice. All right. Actually managed to get all of those guys. Impressive. should have had her in the forest, but oh well. That will work out fine, I think. success. Yeah, for this, the bow will be just fine. All is going to plan. As well be thunder then. Although I don't think I need to actually move for thunder. Oh, I do. Okay. Where's that go? Okay. One of us has to die. Should Wind not have worried dying. anyway. Keep it up. Okay. Oh, 
meteor. Sounds like a challenge. Oh no, there are two more. Okay. Well. This is what we have, I guess. Gerald's mercenaries, she was people contributing to the gambit, that is certainly less than I expected. Actually significant, but I'm not actually worried because Marianne's in a forest and has a good dodge. Well done. We've got one disturbance left. You're in Pregnable Wall. Onslaught left. We've got an assembly left. Assault the board. Assembly left. I don't think we'll just wait. 
Nothing will stop me from feasting upon your flesh and blood. No, I won't let you. Ah. Okay. Yikes. Another one there, okay. Another one there. All right, so. Two, three, four more, because there was also one that showed up over here. Oh boy, okay. those two left. Did anyone get there in time? You don't have... Alright, well at least you're weak to sword. My bows! My bows! That's true. That looks just like Miklon's Black Beast. Could a hero's relic be at fault? Hero, there is a word that takes me back. Takes you back? You... are you... After so long, I cannot speak of it. A bit disappointing. Ah, there we go. Got the umbral steel from him.
Ooh, nice crit. There's still and then you are resistant to magic, right? Ah, not so much though. Time for your last dance. Ah! Oh. That works. Maybe it's all right. Last one. Oh, you don't have the monster. Whatever. Bane of Monsters, there we go. Is that all? Okay, that's good. thing we have to worry about. Oh, 183. Ouch. Okay, so the monsters, I guess, were just going to keep on coming until I defeated that critter. Hey, it's me! Edwin Troops, okay. My, thank you so much! I still can't believe what we saw in that forest. The wandering beast's eviscerated body. Only human beings I sure did. and this sword remaining. That's Surely a saber. Surely the creature's true identity was... I'm sorry. You again? I heard rumor that the wandering beast was slain. But do you really believe that frees you of suspicion? Without proof that it was slain, the argument that you are not a beast does not stand. Furthermore, I... Huh? Oh, that sword! When the wandering beast was defeated, this sword... It's unmistakable. Carved into that sword's crest stone is Maurice's crest. But how would the lost magic blade end up with the wandering beast? According to what I know of Maurice's story, he didn't let go of the sword until the very end. That must mean... I see. So that's what happened. My apologies. It seems I was mistaken. I must be going. So the wandering beast was... Maurice himself. He was roaming the dark woods for over a thousand years Suffering for his murderous past. Good thing you were able to put an end to it. Yes, now I'm committing to my A-team. I'm going to start sweeping. It's true. 
It's true. It's true. It's true. And because of that, I feel as though my curse has been lifted. What an inadequate what apology. I know, right? Goes through me. I feel human for once. Thank you, Professor. I couldn't have done it on my own. Without I'm your help. Totally going to I have to just have use. I must be going to get myself out of I'll more do situations. Anything I can to repay my debt to you. Cranky! Hello! Hello! How's it going with you? Blutgong. Okay. Blood something. Uh, no, let's have the torch the convoy. Where it belongs. Why, thank you so much! I am grateful. Gong. Gong. Blutgong. I thank you. Blood letter, maybe? Blood. I have gratitude. Flower? In the name of the moon, exactly. Oh no, you need to wake up and head to work and be out the door in five minutes. Oh my god, I'm so sorry, Cranky. Oh, best of, best of luck. Um, if I yell really loud into the mic, will it help wake you up? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to do. I don't know how to help here. You'll be late. I mean, fair. That's, I guess that's all you can hope for. Oh, Hilda. Yes, you need, you need authority. You need to study this shit. Felix, Petra, Sylvain, uh... Wow, we have a lot of people here who... Dorothea... What does she need, though? Oh, yeah, no, she needs, uh, some faith. Just like George Michael, a little bit of faith, 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 uh... Oh, uh, no problem, Cranky. Um, you know what? Uh... Like we've we've been pretty busy anyway, um, and I'm actually taking off in a couple days uh, for basically a month here. So um, yeah, no, everyone's everyone's busy with travel and so much other stuff. Uh, so yeah, you know, next time, next time, uh, maybe we can actually make that work out. Oh, I won't touch your name. Uh, off to work. So we are it's going to be. To like part of me. Uh, so I'm going to Austin for a little bit, and then I'm flying back. Uh, and basically, the very next day, Saf and I are leaving for uh, Europe, uh, off to Italy and Greece and Spain, uh, basically. So um, yeah, that's going to take most of the month. We're going to we'll be back for like, you know, the last last week maybe so yeah no super excited about it for sure all right lysithia all right well with this i feel like we just need to get you up a plus there Sorry, there was a, uh, a fly that was flying around here, and I've been trying to get that thing for like two days. Mm, oh. I see. That was a great sound. Yeah, right? <laughs> Very satisfying, too. I'm sorry I couldn't get the, the spark of the thing exploding uh, on camera here, but no, it was how satisfying, right? All right, so ah, oh, I said he is doing pretty good here. Uh, 
I feel like just kind of keeping her on faith, reason, and authority is the right path, you know? Let's hasten along that uh, that faith practice. Ah, oh, Lawrence. Lawrence the Dark Mage. Mm. Let's work out your writing. Although your writing is B plus already. Your authority definitely needs work, okay. There we go, that's what I was looking for. Alright, we've got three left. Who gets it? Uh, Leone? Yeah, absolutely. Wait, I'm sorry, what? How did I do that? How did I do that? Okay, great knight. Axe, heavy armor. Holy knight, faith. You need faith. I see. Bow knight, you need a bow. Sort of fine, okay. Okay. Oh, ZR, okay. Uh, well then. You're already doing really good at writing. I guess let's start getting your bow up. Huh? I... It's a little bit late for that, I guess, but let's I... there we are. Should be a great bow night. Okay, good, good, good. Felix. Oh, Felix, what do we need for you? Now that I know that I can do this, this is going to be a game changer. All right, what can we start aiming at? Um, other things. So you have sword and unarmed, basically. Okay. Warmaster. Axe and brawl. Which means we need to really start getting our axe up, huh? Okay, okay. Yeah. He's got... He's got none of it. Pretty much. <clears throat> uh, what does he have? He's got... Sword, yeah, so he's basically got sword and uh, and brawl. Okay, there are a lot of great master classes. Okay, he's got a while to go as a sword master. I was just looking for what the next thing would be. Hero. Could do hero. Yeah. Alright. Start upping his axe a little bit. It was nothing. Quite intrigued. Hmm. 
Cyril. Cyril. How are you doing? Alright, you're gonna need something else before too much longer. Although you do already have that. That's in flying. I did I've wanted to be able to do this. I just didn't know I could. Oh yeah, okay, I've always, I think by the time I've seen it, I've been on another screen. My goals are group tasks. There is so much info in this game, it's true. Professor? As a priest or bishop? Yeah, that's true. The relief comes so much more, so much heavier discovering myself. Um, no, I actually like her continuing with writing. Oh, well, okay. I guess she's doing that now, in that case. Uh, Lawrence, yes, actually. This is Professor, have you been looking for me again? Never. I am very busy, you know. I must insist that disruptions for light-hearted chats of this kind be kept to a minimum. I've been getting more complaints. <laughs> what did I tell you about falling victim to such salacious and slanderous rumors? As I've told you, there is obviously a conspiracy against me. There is no manner in which I could possibly be considered bothersome. The girls actually do seem bothered. Professor, I assure you, you have been deceived. My adversary has poisoned the hearts of these ladies against me. The plot goes deeper than I thought. <sighs> there is no... you... I don't think it actually matters which of these three I choose. The response is going to be the same. Uh, it's a false choice, but... There is no conspiracy, this is real. But, if you truly do insist, please understand, Professor, I am not some scoundrel out for conquest. I am You're a nice guy. I am my duty as heir of House Gloucester. It is my responsibility to continue our noble line by finding a suitable lady to be my wife. It is a rigorous process. My family has the very highest standards for appearance, grace, temperament, and pedigree. So, commoners are excluded? Typically, yes. Even if others are sometimes critical of that notion. For the nobility, marriage is not merely a union of individuals. It is also a union of families. It would not benefit House Gloucester to be tied to a family of powerless commoners, would it? To achieve supremacy, it is necessary for my line to be tied to that of an influential family. That is the best path to peace and prosperity for all. So, as you can see, the future of the Alliance rests on my shoulders. Boy, that's quite an obligation. If it is a burden, it is one I am all too familiar with. We nobles are born to this duty. That being said, to avoid misunderstandings, I shall restrain myself until things calm down. I would rather not cause trouble for you, after all. Ooh. Oh, Felix's birthday. Okay. Uh, let's bring up the thing here. Okay, list of characters. Uh, Felix. Felix, 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 there we go. Host tea party. Uh, 
A... A modern pine needles, I guess. Yep. Why am I here? Okay. Oh, that aroma. My favorite tea. I thank you. Why are you here, Felix? Ah, hot. All right, the opera, really, that's a thing. Cats? Okay. Yes. Food in the dining hall. Yes. yes. The yes. opera. Okay. Yes. Someone you look up to yes. see. Some people like to snack when they take a break. No willpower. Sip tea yes. is the only possible response to that. Okay. Uh, what? Actually, does he need any gifts? He does need some gifts. Okay. Hot. Uh, hunting dagger, smoked meat, ceremonial sword. Aha! This is nice. Yes. Training weight. Smoked meat. There we go. Aha! This is nice. Thanks for your hospitality. I hope you'll invite me again sometime. There we go. We had a great... One step before the next step. See it in action. I worked Ooh, to grow. Ooh, plus one. I always was. A... Okay. Huh. Okay. Well, save after shenanigans. I got movement plus one, yeah. Is that a is that a difficult thing? I don't even know who got it, actually, but Hmm. Oh Leone, thank you. It's like S tier. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. Lots of supports here. Holy shit. Okay. Yeah. Hey! Wait a minute. How is Claude doing? We can do it. We can do it. All right, let's see. Let's see what the ultimate Claude scene is here. Oh, I'll have to wait until the war ends. Okay, fine. But Leone. Well, we've got another battle coming up. What do you think of our chances? Winning is always the goal. At any rate, I've done everything I can to prepare. That's the right attitude. I'm sure they're doing all they can on their side, too. I don't doubt it. But however strong they are, it's no more than a Fodlan concern. Her whole look is great. Who knows how far great. this world extends beyond the boundaries of Fodlan? I'm digging, Leone. Talk of strength or weakness doesn't amount to much when it's only in relation to a tiny corner of the world. Guess you're right. Thinking about it like that, even this war seems like a storm in a teacup. Exactly. It's nothing more than an internal quarrel amongst the people of Fodlan. <laughs> Typical laid-back Claude. I always like talking to you. 
Your perspective on the world is so refreshing. Things I thought were obvious turn out not to be. The way you think, that changes the way you see things. Common sense never tells the whole story. It's similar to what we were talking about before, about how you need to doubt yourself first. True enough, but where did you get these ideas? That perspective of looking past the walls of Fodlan, when it's all we can see in front of us. Do you really want to know? Ha. Huh. I do. Uh, but I'm afraid now isn't the time. When this war is won, I'll tell you all about it. It'll be easier for me to show you than to tell you. Show me? Are we going somewhere? It's quite a distance. You'll start to appreciate how big the world is if you go. <laughs> Sounds eye-opening. I'll look forward to it. Can we call it a promise? Yes, it's a promise. But first, let's win this war and leave it far behind us. Okay. Who's Raf got? Ingrid, interesting. Huh? Is that Ingrid? I'd better get out of here before she scolds me again. Actually, she looks kind of sad. Maybe I shouldn't run away. Hey! Ingrid! Why do you look so sad? Are you hungry or something? Oh, it's you. No, I'm not hungry. You're not hungry? But you're sad anyway? I don't get it. Are you sick? No. Then are you sure you're not hungry? I just told ah! you that wasn't it. It's nothing you can help with anyway. Well, sometimes you gotta talk it out. That's what my grandpa says. Yeah, I guess that's helpful sometimes. Are you willing to listen then? Of course! Uh, please, go ahead. I found a letter from back at the academy that my father sent regarding a marriage arrangement with a noble family. I see, I see. I am the only person in House Galatea capable of carrying on our family line, of passing on a crest. Ah, I see, I see. But I chose instead to fight, betraying my family and ruining my father's plans for me. Hmm, I see, I see. Raphael, are you even listening? Ha! Huh. I'm right there with you, but... Did you hear that ominous sound? Was that... thunder? Sorry. All that listening made me hungry. After hearing you out, I think you're probably just hungry too. And your troubles are sure to go away after a good meal. I really am not hungry. But I can't say no to good food. Alright, let's just eat then. I can tell you about my struggles some other time, maybe. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, Raph. He's got... Okay, so we need... We need to get him support up with a bunch of other characters. Shamir! He needs to do more stuff with Shamir. Maybe we need to um, pair them up a bunch more. Yeah, that's it. We need to see all the Raphael scenes. Hilda and Marianne. Okay. Um. Yes, Hilda, adjutant. Exactly. I wanted to thank you for helping me in the infirmary. I brought you these pastries. Ooh, thanks. I'll put some tea on. Have a seat. That sounds lovely, but. I also wanted to apologize for always causing you such trouble. It's no trouble. No trouble at all. Everything tastes better with friends, don't you think? I give you help, you give me sweets, we have a little tea party. It's a good arrangement, I'd say. I'm used to it now, so if it changed suddenly, I would feel disoriented. I suppose if you're enjoying yourself, then it can't be that bad. Sure. You don't seem to mind listening while I gab, so I'm enjoying myself plenty. But do let me know if I'm too boring. No, no, you're not boring at all. In fact, you're, um, very good at talking. 
You're also good with your hands. You can clean and organize better than almost anyone. I envy you. Oh, stop. I'm blushing. I'm not as great as all that. We're both a lot different on the inside than we look on the outside, don't you think? How do you mean? People who see you think you're so proper, but you're actually clumsy. That's why I help you, because there are some things you just can't do. Oh my god, Linda. I'm sorry you always have to clean up after me. I didn't say I hated it. In fact, you've taught me a few new techniques I can use to persuade people. Oh Maybe my. I'll start imitating you a little bit. I'll do the Marianne. That sheepish, sorry, and those quavering downcast eyes. But that might not work as well for me. People would probably assume that I'd hit my head. Oh, well. <laughs> Aw, Mary Ann laughing at me. <laughs> so rude and yet so adorable. I'm so uh. sorry. I just can't help it. When I imagine you doing those things, I... <laughs> Yeah, yeah. It's rather unhilda like I'll admit. <clears throat> okay, that's enough laughing. <laughs> I'm so... <laughs> so sorry. So, <laughs> hey, uh, are you alright? That tea's hot, Marianne. Be careful. Uh, yes. <laughs> oh, ouch! Hot! Come on, what did I just say? I know, I'm sorry. Oh, ow, oh, ow, oh, ow, oh. hot. Oh boy, a real steady hand, that Marianne. It's nice to see her laugh. Sure, she was laughing at me, but how can I get mad when she looks so dang cute? Petra, who's Pe Oh, Petra and Shamir. That's a good pairing. Shamir, can I be having your time? There is a thought that is giving me great concern. Let's hear it, Petra. If Dagda is ever invading Fodlin again, what will you be doing? <laughs> I'd join the army of Dagda. I'd lay waste to Fodlin and return to my homeland. If that is the truth, then I am having one more question for you. If that was happening, and all of us were fighting for Fodlin, would you be fighting us, too? Of course. You expect me to die for you? You should be prepared to do the same. Your homeland would likely join Dagda. So, that is your truth? Maybe. If you'd asked me five years ago. Hmm? I've been a mercenary since childhood. Always fighting for a bounty. If my allies didn't pay, I'd side with the enemy. It's why I became a sniper. Easier to dispose of anyone with a reward on their head. It's also why I joined the true. Knights of Saros. I owed them a debt. But that's all changed. You are not fighting for money now? That's right. When I see everyone fighting for Fodlan, I feel inclined to help. I won't die for the cause. But I will protect everyone. If the army of Dagda engaged you, I'd fight at your side. Hearing that is giving... It gives me great joy. Until hmm. the war is finished, let us fight together. Is that something that would have been different before the time skip? Wait, who else does Petra have scenes with? Aloise? Oh, okay. Zero. Ooh. Petra, what are you doing? Hello, Zero. Oh, I was doing training for hunting. Just locked up. It's meant to be after I thought skip. you were already a good hunter. I am good, but to keep good, I must keep practicing. Oh, I get it. That makes more huh. sense. Hey, can I ask you a question? I mean, I figure you asked me a personal question before, so now it's my turn. That is, if you don't mind. Tell me why it is you do all this training, and if it's got something to do with where you're from. My training and my land of home. Before I can give answers, I must give you my history. I was a child in Bridget. But then there happened the war with the Empire. 
My parents were... They died. Bridget lost in the war. After it, a decision was had that I must go to the Empire. War, huh? That's the same as me. Yes. But our difference is that I still have a strong devotion to my land of home. I want to grow my skills and train with hardness for the goodness of my land of home. I will one day be leading Bridget. I want to have better relations with Bodlin. So that is why I am here, when I wish I could be there. Oh, wow. You do all this so maybe you can be a leader for your people? I guess I was right. You're real different than me. We have differences, but we do not have so many differences. You and I are the same, I believe. The same? You work with great passion, all for the future and to keep protected what is here today. I work for the future of my land of home. You are the same, but here is your home. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe, but I guess that does mean I'm putting in a lot of effort every day, just like you. That is what I have said. You and I are the same, even with the differences we have. Hmm. <laughs> Okay. Sure. Dorothea and Manuela. Ah, oh, them again. Oh, my head is pounding. You'd think I'd get used to this. Oh. Manuela? Oh my goodness, you look terrible. Don't get up. I'll get you some water. I should fluff up those pillows for you. It will make you more comfortable. <sighs> I'm completely hopeless. I was so proud of being the reason you came to Garrick Mock. Dorothea wanted to follow in my footsteps. How great is that? I thought I'd use that as an inspiration to straighten myself out. Be less of a... You know, less of a disgrace. But here I am, right in front of you, dealing with the worst hangover I've had in weeks. You thought you'd hide this from me? <laughs> Wait, you mean you knew? Even when you were still with the opera company, you had quite the reputation. <laughs> there was a joke that you could outdrink a fish and the sailor who caught it. Dorothea. Ah! My brain's pounding as it is. Please, stop. It's all true. But I can't handle hearing it from you. The girl I thought I had inspired to greatness. I can't believe I tried so hard to be a good example for you. When you knew all along. I should leap into the ocean and drown. Don't say that. You've not lost a bit of respect from me. Not one bit. Everyone has their faults, and some have more than others, but... You were the finest songstress the opera had ever seen. And you've taught me well. What I mean to say is, you're my inspiration. I really do admire you. Thank you, Dorothea. That means a lot. Okay. Sedith and Cyril. Oh, okay. Hey, Sedith. I got a delivery for you. Thank you, Cyril. Would you mind waiting just a moment for me to confirm the contents? Sure thing. All seems to be accounted for. I lack the time to handle tasks of this kind myself. I appreciate you making the effort. Is there anything I can assist you with? Do you have any concerns? Concerns? Nah, I'm happy just working for Lady Rhea. I got a way better life now than I ever did before. If your better life is this frugal, I have to wonder what your previous experience was like. It must not have been easy before you came to us. But you should know that is in the past now. You are young, you should be enjoying life. Do not allow your past to overshadow that. Is there nothing you desire? We will support you in any way we can. Really, there's nothing. Except... Nah, it's okay. Except... 
I don't got anywhere else to go, and I just want to be able to stay here forever. This place Lady Rhea gave me, it's the only place I know to call home. I will keep that in mind. Well, I got work to do. Excuse me. Of course. I apologize for delaying you. Hmm. Plane and... Oh, Claude and Plane? Plane and Beats. All right. Hi, Flame. Have the four saints caught your fancy? Hello there, Claude. No, not particularly. I was merely looking. I see. In any case, do you mind if I ask you a little something? It's about your family's origin. This again? <laughs> there is truly nothing of interest to discuss on that topic. Ah, but when you try to change the subject like that, it drives me mad with curiosity. That said, taking a secret by force isn't my style. That's why I devised a different approach. Relentless nagging. <laughs> Might I suggest giving up entirely? Truth be told, my brother has asked that I not speak of my background to anyone. I thought it might be something like that. Oh well, guess I'd better give up on trying to get you to tell me yourself. Instead, why don't I tell you about the theory I've come up with? You've concocted a theory, have you? I suppose there is no harm in listening to it. I did a bit of investigating into the crests that you and Seteth bear. Sedith's is the major crest of Keyhole, and yours is the major crest of Sethleen. Where did you learn of this? Oh, I just took a peek at some records by a renowned crest scholar. I'd rather not say more than that. <laughs> anyway, my point is that I don't think I've ever know. heard of two siblings each bearing the major crests of a pair of saints. If the legends are true, then Saint Keyhole was Saint Sethleen's father, wasn't he? Which means, if you and Sedith were the descendants of Saint Sethleen, that would explain how you two came to possess Keyhole and Sethleen's crests. You mean to suggest that my brother and I are the children's children's children of Sethleen? That about sums it up. <laughs> An interesting theory, to say the least. But surely you must know. Saint Sethleen was never married. There are no tales of her having ever had children. Sure, sure, but the possibilities are endless. It's not like legends are known for their accuracy. But based on your reaction, I guess I'm probably following a bad lead here. Hello! Should not be awake? Oh no! And so, in order to not be awake, you come here. <laughs> but no, good to have you! Um, besides... Uh, so, so besides besides this sentence that I'm suddenly unsure how to construct, uh, besides not supposed to be being awake, that sounds wrong. <laughs> how is it going with you? How you doing? And most importantly, I assume that uh, you're you're safe and everything from all of this stuff going on over there. Uh, on the, the eastern coast. Uh, you're happy! Hey! Yes! That's great to hear! I love hearing that. Safe, yes. Good! Yes, safe and happy. Those are two important things. Oh my god! Excellent! Excellent, excellent, excellent. The best month of your life? Oh my god, do tell. I love hearing this stuff. I want to hear all of it. Please. Please share. Dish, exactly. Dish. Dish, well, we have a Felix and Dorothea scene. Me. Stop. I am leaving you alone just as you asked. I may be walking the same way as you, but... What do you want? You've made it abundantly clear I'm not to want anything from you, including politeness. I heard a rumor that you're planning to settle down with a noble. I abandoned my family, so you'll have to look elsewhere. Not much to gain from marrying me. I just find you interesting is all. Is that so odd? Interesting? I'm not interesting. Those puffs on sleeves. I've never met a noble so... 
unsociable. New yes, that's Dragon Ball Z game and show. The new Sonic the game, the new Armada. To be oh, man, sorry. Even if it's just because Armada? they might gain something from it. <laughs> the Amanda, the adventure. Oh, that's right. The new life is strange. If they are, so what? You should care how and? others think of you. Why? I don't answer to them. All that matters is improving my skill. You see your girlfriend in a few days. Oh my god, so wait, is this uh can't even see each other? Is this the one in Ohio? Oh, I agree. What's important isn't how someone looks, it's their true nature. I don't pretend to know your true nature. I don't even have a very good understanding of my own. But I suppose you see mine just fine, don't you? Just a silly girl with no thoughts in her head except for marrying a noble. <laughs> yes? I think the entirety of Ohio is sufficiently vague. <laughs> sufficiently vague. Um, oh, I'm so happy for you. Oh, my God. Wait. This, this isn't the first time that you two are meeting in person, is it? Is it? I mean, you don't have to answer that, actually. But, like... That's so, it is. Oh my God. Oh, I'm so excited for you. Oh, oh, that makes me so happy. Oh, yes. I, yes, right? Saf, isn't it exciting? Oh my God. Okay, yes, yes. Oh, you are gonna have all the fun. You literally jumping? Yeah, yeah, as you should be. I see you do on stream and I'm like, okay, that's especially given given yeah, everything. Like, yeah, that's it's You're great. You're great is is what I'm trying to say. Um and it's a delight to watch. So I am so oh my god, I am over the moon that you two actually get to like finally spend time together in person. Oh, that's so good. <laughs> Sorry. Flapping for excitement and emphasis. <laughs> this is this is this is I guess vicarious jumping. Jump, 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 jump. I should get some weights and actually do some exercises with that. <laughs> oh, surprise, which will not be a public announcement, but rather told to people who I think should oh I mean if you want to uh, DM it on Discord, uh, feel free as well. Like, uh, I feel like this might be too, too public. After all, there are VODs. VODs exist. Someone could come and watch them at any time. Spectacular work, Felix! Why are you here? You're interrupting. My apologies. I simply thought you were doing a great job. Just how sharp is that blade of yours, Felix? Do you imagine you might be able to cut something cleanly with it? <laughs> Probably. Do you love to spill secrets on here? It's true. It's oh, true. Wonderful. Secrets are best shared, best right? <laughs> Mostly the unserious ones. You want me to cut this firewood? I do. I shall toss them one by one to you, and you shall make a sweeping blow to slice okay, them. Okay, that actually sounds fun, sounds Flame. Like sure. I saw a knight do it once, so surely you can as well. Or perhaps you are worried that you are not capable. Ha! No, I, I am more than capable. Right. Show me oh, what Flame. you are made of. Here it comes. <sighs> Doing them one by one is tedious. Just throw them all at once. All of them? If you insist, <laughs> here we go! Wow, you truly are spectacular! I know. <laughs> I know. You are undoubtedly the most revered woodcutter in all the land. Now I am intrigued. <laughs> Let us try an even larger woodpile. Why did I agree to this? <laughs> Okay, that was better than I thought it would be. Oh, yay, 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 yay. Okay, so, I, so I'm so i going to be gone for the next month, but I want to hear how everything goes. You know, not in too much detail, uh, but, like, I, I feel like I'm... I don't know. I, I, I feel like I'm just, like, 
vicariously enthusiastic for you, and uh, and it's a, a kind of excitement that uh, that I don't get very often. Uh, yeah, yeah, this is great. This is great. Um, also a bit. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. I want pictures. I wasn't. So I don't know why it just seemed like. Like it might have been intrusive to ask or something, you know? Um, I don't know why. Um, I don't get that. This particular brand of it, this particular brand, I don't like. I don't know. A lot of people are like, oh, yeah, you know, I'm meeting, you know, meeting this person I met online for the first time and um, for the most part, like, you know, ever since, you know, maybe the end of college or something, uh, I'm like, yeah, okay. But like, this is, this is, this is something that I, I feel invested in. That's what it is. I feel invested in this and I feel invested in the happiness for all of you. And yeah, I think that's why I'm, I'm actually excited for it. It's a form of compersion. Oh my God. It's a form of compersion. That's what it is. Okay, no. We found it. We found it. Oh, wow. Okay, so everyone is kind of split on what to do. I was thinking seminar. Because I don't think there's any other good thing to do with the time here. Yeah, no, that is... Yeah, okay. Okay. Not all intrusive. Oh. Okay, well... I feel honored. I feel I feel special. Um, and yes, yes. If you feel comfortable with it, I would love pictures. Um, like I said before, I think um, Saf and I are going to be out of the country for most of this coming month, and I don't know exactly what our internet situation is going to be like. But I should be able to to remain on Discord and stuff. Uh, I would imagine. So, yes, yes, please. Please share. Oh, my God. Y'all are too cute, by the way. Y'all are so cute. I gotta say. <laughs> oh, let's see, let's see, let's see. What, um... What can we do? Okay, raise some sword. Raise some... Bow and authority. I think everyone needs some authority. Everyone needs some authority. That's all her. I was about to protest, but then I realized it would be completely empty because I'm not sure I've actually seen a picture of you. Um, so, like, I'll protest on principle, fully recognizing that I have not a single inch of ground to stand on with that protest. <laughs> but I'm protesting anyway! <laughs> like I said, it's the principle of the thing. You wait. I think the only streams that I've been to have been. Do you have a you have a VTube persona as well? Because I don't remember a face cam. And I think I've only been able to catch one or two streams as well. One of the face cards. Okay. Okay. I'm also, like, so seriously face blind, it's ridiculous. And Saf can back me up on this one. Every time we watch a movie or TV show, Saf has to lean over and be like, this is that character. <laughs> this is that character. If, like, they change, if there's a time skip or something, <laughs> then she's like, okay, here's who everyone is. <laughs> Most of the streams I see her not. <laughs> I mean, look, I can't, I can't blame you. I can't blame you. <laughs> yeah, 
yeah, severely phase blind. Um, wait. Okay, now I got now I gotta check. Now I gotta check. Uh, da, 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 da. Sorry, not checking like your vods or anything, but I need to know. Okay, yeah, I am. Okay. Yeah, yeah, okay, good. I just needed to make sure I had notifications turned on for your stream because, like, I don't remember seeing one for a little bit. Uh, and I know, I know you don't stream frequently. Um, or actually, you know what? Twitch also has a habit of not sending me notifications, even when I have them turned on. So I might have missed some. Mm. Twitch. Why Twitch? Hmm. Anyway, yes, yes. Fake it. Oh, no, 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 no. Do not feel bad at all. Uh, <laughs> how did I not know that you have Instagram? Look, I don't update Instagram. I, I have like four Instagram accounts for various aspects of my life, and I do not update a single one of them. Um, yeah, no, it's, uh, I suck at social media. I really suck at social media. I have a bunch of Twitter accounts that I never use. Um, I logged into Twitter for the first time, I swear, in like five years uh, for TwitchCon, because there was one thing that needed it that got us some extra points. Um, Insta, I am terrible at, at updating. Um... I'm basically completely off Facebook. <laughs> okay, well, there we go. Okay, I will... I will check it out. Um, I don't even have a TikTok, and that's because when I had a job uh, up until a couple months ago, like, I was actually forbidden by my work from installing TikTok on my phone. Uh, and if I can't use TikTok on my phone, then, you know, kind of what's the point, right? Um, but... Uh, yeah, now I'm just kind of like, eh, whatever. <laughs> right? Um, ooh, this would be a good one. Yeah, no, I just, I, I don't even think to take selfies or like photos when I'm out doing stuff. So, yeah, I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. Um, to be honest, I often forget I have an Instagram as well. That's kind of my default state of being is forgetting that I have an Instagram. So yeah, at least you're, you know, you're in good company, right? <laughs> All right, let's do this one. Claude, what do you have to teach us? Come on, give us your stuff. Give us your knowledge. Ooh. Okay. I'm There's some the good headaches. skills up there. Practice is paying off. It seems my proficiency... Well worth the effort. Okay. Some decent stuff. Motivation of attendees increased by 50. Okay, that's good. That is good. Lysithia's birthday! Okay, well, we are absolutely hosting a tea party because... Why wouldn't we? Um, let's see, let's see, let's see, Lysithia, 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 where are you here? Tea time, you like sweet apple blend, southern fruit blend, oh, we've got plenty of southern fruit, crisp and tea, honey fruit blend, I don't know if it's too much on Instagram, I barely make actual posts, instead just share DBZ and Sonic memes on my stories, I mean, hey, look, at least you're posting, okay? <laughs> Uh, memes or not, you know, uh, that's, that's still more than I'm doing. Um, I also see, you know what, um, let's snooze that ad until we're done with tea time here. 
Did you call me? Oh, this is my favorite tea. Do you, um, have sugar? Lots, please. I am okay. Those this sleeves, oh my god. This is like the shirt equivalent of bell bottoms from the 70s. Uh, place that you'd like to visit? Yeah, that seems like her. Thanks for everything. Heart racing memories. Past laughs? Past laughs, probably? Yes, there it is. Okay. And... Dining partners, probably. She seems fairly food-oriented. Close calls? Close calls. Okay. There we go. Talking to you feels worth my time. I feel there's a lot I can learn from you. Thanks? Uh, yeah, blush. Hey, there we go. Okay, okay. Um, gifts. Any gifts that I can give her? An arithmetic textbook. Oh my god. Armored bear stuffy, of course. For me? I... And a tasty baked treat. For me? Okay, there we go. And the tea party. Uh, that tea was delicious. Invite me again sometime. See ya. All right, increase in charm. I'm not going to be mad about that. Okay. For me? I love it. Me pretending to like the clothes I get on Christmas. Oh my god. I... There was... Yeah, no. There were... There have been disastrous gifts in my past. As, as for everyone, I think, who has celebrated Christmas for a while. Um, and yeah, I've never been able to really, like, nail that that expression of insincere awe, you know? I, I should really adopt my um, my mother outlaw's uh, uh, strategy, which is saying, oh my gosh, it's a wherever, wherever did you find this? Or whatever, uh, wherever did you find this? How did I handle that? I was trying not to mention that specifically. Oh my god. I mean, it's it's fine. Like, she's an ex-partner now as of a couple weeks ago, but um... Yeah, no. It, um... I feel like I was not as smooth with that one. And I don't remember exactly how I handled it, but I was definitely taken aback uh, by being like, Oh! This is a thing that you got me uh, clearly out of obligation and maybe just the barest sense of knowing me after five years. <laughs> like, what? <sighs> oh, I would cry. You know what? Maybe that's it. Maybe the secret is just simplicity. Maybe brevity is the soul of apparent appreciation I like that I like I like that idea um, okay so having gone through that it is now time to save before shenanigans and we put a pause yes and then immediately change the subject which maybe is what I did because I think if I recall the next thing I said was I've got something for you too <laughs> change <laughs> you know what? You're right. It should be acceptable to say I don't like this, but thank you for trying. I think that's a great, healthy thing to cultivate. I appreciate the thought. What is it that you see in this about me? <laughs> That's true. Saf will completely adopt that. 
and it will it will be it will be her her go-to honesty thing <laughs> all right um do it Zaf. yes uh uh social contracts do you mean instead of contacts uh but yes how bad do you need that world and how hard it is for you to force yourself to do social contracts i know saf i know i'm sorry it's it's a thing it's a thing <laughs> Oh, yeah, my my heart goes out to you. All right, um, I am going to put up BRB for ads because they're about to start in a minute. Uh, so I want to make sure that uh, no game is, is being missed while ads are up. Um, but what I might do is actually something that we haven't done for a while, which is words on stream. So let's get this going and we will see how we do. Okay, um, I will be back in a little bit, but enjoy some words.
All right, that was a good showing for especially three of us. Oh my god, that, um, that was, I know, that E, right? That E was such a fake out. I, uh, I was trying to see past the E, and I just couldn't, like, with the only vowels you have are an I and a Y, like, ah, worst run with more people. Hey, yeah, no, we, we did remarkably well. I'm not disappointed at all uh, by, by that showing. Thank you, everyone, for indulging me in that. I was just saying uh, to, to Saf that it had been a while since I'd done Words on Stream. That was a great run. Absolutely. It's been a while since I, I've done Words on Stream because I don't often get people who are engaged with it um, or enough people uh, to be engaged with it. And like, I always love those kinds of word games and stuff. So... Um, oh, yeah, right, at TwitchCon! At TwitchCon, I finally got to show Saf a game that I had thought she would love for ages um, and never had access to to show her, but it was Bananagrams, uh, which is basically like words on stream uh, in life. So words in life, I don't... That's a terrible name for a game. I see what they call the Bananagrams now. Um, <laughs> missing it so much too? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Words on table. There we go. <laughs> yeah, viewership is definitely the problem for, for doing words on stream. Um, words not on stream. Words IRL. <laughs> words made manifest. <laughs> no, but it was it was so much fun uh, getting to play uh, Bananagrams with Saf and uh, a little bit with uh, Hedgy Cleric, uh, who we stayed with in uh, our Airbnb at the last minute. <laughs> so, well, technically, it was Hedgy Cleric's Airbnb that we stayed with uh, her at the last minute. Um, but yeah, no, it was it was great. It was great fun. Uh, TwitchCon was amazing. Um, Saf and I dominated the uh, QR code uh, TwitchCon quest treasure hunt along with our friend uh, Namaskol. Um, yeah, yeah, no, so many good things. And I got to see one of my friends I haven't seen for, well, okay, no, I saw her back in April, but uh, before that, I hadn't seen her for about a year, so, uh, so it was all good stuff. Uh, trying a stream was fun, and maybe it'll come back. 
Uh, I'm happy with the priorities I've been focusing on the last few years instead. Good! Good! As long as you're happy with the priorities that you've been focusing on, that is the important thing. Um, and yeah, streaming streaming's great. I really like streaming. Um, but yeah, like... I am I'm glad to have other stuff to do as well. Exactly, it worked out, right? Just look at this awesome life we have right now. Look at it! Look at it! <laughs> Job, home, and relationship. Yeah, no, all of them are good. And we're Yeah! And you've, exactly, you've been getting back into sketching. We went to a party last night, and um, I just spontaneously did a modeling session, and Saf and another person there uh, sketched me out, and... Sketched me out? No. <laughs> sketched me. Sketched out a sketch of me. <laughs> Maybe it's time I got back to the game, y'all. <laughs> <coughs> yes, you should post that to this cord. Yes. Absolutely. And I'm so glad I got to the other person's sketch too, because yeah, she did a really great job of line work, uh, I thought. Uh, but yes, absolutely post to the Discord staff. I wish I'd known it was so fast because I was staying, I, like, I was posing for probably another, like, 10 minutes beyond what I needed to, right? <laughs> uh, okay, let's deploy here. Let's deploy, and we will save during shenanigans. In response to the Alliance Army's plea, Judith has agreed to provide soldiers. Who's Judith? To meet up with reinforcements, the Alliance Army sets out for Alel, the Valley of Torment. Unbeknownst to Claude, something else awaits them there. I am grateful. Okay. That's ominous. Uh, why is it so hot? I'm getting all sweaty. Don't be a wimp. Anything's worth it for more food supplies. Move over, Raphael. Somehow you make the heat even worse. Let's stay calm, everyone. Once we meet up with Judith's soldiers, we can go right back home. Oh, um. I finally remembered. The legend goes that this valley was born from the wrath of the goddess. This seems like they a terrible a place to... poured from the heavens and completely burned away the forest that used to be here. This seems like a terrible so place to meet an army. So you're telling me the goddess, who is supposed to be benevolent, burned a forest to a crisp? Typical. <laughs> That's what the legend would have us believe, but it's not recorded in any of the scriptures. Either it's completely PR made up, job. or the goddess is some kind of monster. Huh? Is that... The time for idle chatter is over, Claude. Look over there. They ah, did. Has someone come to greet us? But somehow I think they neglected to mention that it was a magma valley. Severely inhospitable to life in a long term. Uh, enemies or allies? I'm going to be hopeful. It's not going to be allies, but, you know, just in case. Allies? That banner does not bear the Daphnal crest. If memory serves, that's the crest oh! of House Rome, formerly lords of the kingdom. I thought it was like a they desert. the Empire side without hesitation during the coup. That now makes more are, sense then. Lying in wait for us. Damn. I thought we had disposed of all the spies. House Rowe is mediocre and vulgar, but I hear their knights are powerful. What about the Daphnal soldiers? You don't think... Yeah, I'm worried about Judith, actually. Judith I've no... Fine. It would take a lot more than that to take her down. Everyone, prepare for battle. I leave the command in your capable hands, my friend. I'm not worried about our ability to uh, punch through this army. But Judith... 
I guess suddenly I care about her, even though I can't remember when she came up before. All right, what are we looking at here? So, flyers. Flyers, oh, whoa, this is a map, holy shit, okay. Um, so we are outnumbered almost three to one. And they're level 20. Gwendol. That was level 31. Okay. Okay. Should be easy enough to handle that. Now the question is, of course, are we going to get things popping out of the magma? Any reinforcements from the magma? God, I can't even imagine wearing armor like that this close to lava. Oh! Ash! With, is that a special killer bow? Alright, hello, Ash. Would the, so, would this... Gwendol person otherwise have been someone that I like recruited Dorothea or Felix. Oh, it might have been Felix. Ooh. I did a prologue for you, didn't I, Ash? And this is how you repay me? Are you serious? Ah. Oh. Paralogue. Sorry, thank you. Paralogue, prologue. Yes, that. Uh, okay, so... Let's look at support. We had some interesting ones here, didn't we? we oh, yeah, I wanted to do all the Raph supports. Okay. Raph had some Shamir support. Also Ignatz. I do want to see the Raph and Ignatz. Yeah, Marianne, Hilda. Yeah, I want to see all the ref supports. Okay. something for me as well. Manuela. I stayed up longer than I should have, but I did enjoy hanging out. Absolutely, I enjoyed having you here too. Um, and yes, see y'all later, and I am going to look so forward to those pictures. Um, have the best trip. I'm so excited for you, and sleep well. Uh, go, go get some rest. And I don't know when you're you're heading out to uh, to the Midwest, but um, I hope you get a safe journey, a smooth journey uh, with a minimum of us. And yeah, absolutely. See you uh, online later on. All right, sleep well. Thanks for stopping by. Oh, 
she's coming there! Oh, I'm sorry, I don't know why I thought you were going there. Okay. Oh, well, in that case, I hope she has a safe journey, uh, and a smooth journey. Um, and I still hope you sleep well. <laughs> That's so exciting, actually. That is so exciting, and... Uh, it'll be such a nice change of pace from where she is right now, uh, having, having been to both places a fair amount. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, all right. But good night. Take care. Always a pleasure to have you here. already part of our little team, is she? She is okay. Hmm. Maybe we uh, finish out the Marianne. Oh, Marianne Adam. Okay, yeah, maybe we do that. Oh, Felix doesn't get to be a part of this now. Oh, well, that sucks for Felix. Cyril. Hey, Cyril. Oh, wait, Leone? No, that makes sense. Leone, yeah, no, we don't want to close. Uh, oh, but wait. gold to replenish them. are we doing on our items? Uh, first of all, we need to get this to... Marianne. Uh, we can do it with the torches. I should be actually looking at the durabilities on these. Um, it actually seems pretty good to me. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. Yeah, that seems 
Hilda, wait, are you not part of this? Hilda, you should be part of this. You really should be part of this. I think you should be part of this over Catherine. That's a lot of abilities. Okay. All right, all right. Someone who has lock touch for those two chests. Okay. Hmm. Using a sword, okay. But she's using a lance. Okay. Shmir has not used a lance in ages, actually. Plus one, there we go, there we go. Okay, 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 cool. Attack with high crit, Ooh. could be useful. Also have a few armored units here, so Helm Spirit might be a good substitute for Monster Blast. Mr. Crusher. this, I think that we will be able to swap out the monsters. Gets um, some battalions. Sorry, that. Oh wow. Okay. Eh. He. All right. We've got Claude right there. We've got me right here. Where do we want everyone else? Okay. Let's swap you two. Shamir, you're good. that by and large. All right, let's see how this goes. So 
just to make sure of our route, we're going to take probably these four down here. Ooh, those four. Hmm. Now yeah, that'll be fine. There we go. So these three up here are going to go this way. These three are going to go up here. It's going to be... Petra, Dorothea, and Marianne. Okay, that'll work out pretty well. Then Scythia, Shamir, Raph, and me will go up through here. Probably meeting these three as they curve around down here. All right. Seems like a sound strategy. Oh, but Petra has to make a break for the chess. Okay. Actually, maybe maybe we give Hilda a key. Petra may only be able to make it to one chest here. It's probably going to be that one. Okay. Small change of plan. Um, give Ingrid a chest key as well. She also has plenty of space. Give Shamir a chest. Okay. All right. Here we go. The Valley of Torment. Perhaps a good place to finish off my life as a knight. Only if that puny force of children is able to kill me, of course. So, their general must be that stubborn-looking old man. He looks like he wouldn't even forgive a sobbing child. It's good we came armed for the occasion. Care to find Judith? Okay. Flames are flaring everywhere and burning people where they stand. LL's a terrible place. Everyone, if you don't want to get burned to a crisp, watch your step. And how much damage does this rain do exactly? Okay. Minus 20% health. Ooh, okay. Yikes. Let's make this quick. What's my strategy? More fighting. I will prevail.
Leave it to me. Yeah, let's stay there. Let's clean up. but not quite. Okay, to the point where it's probably not actually worth it. Hopefully she's not going to be just me for doing that. Going for the kill. Alright. Feels good to fight for our cause. You're relentless. Dance like Scythia? Oh, it's so hard to. Leave her at the ready later. Forgive me, but as nope, I didn't realize there was more. I know this is it, but I don't want to die. All right, well, you chose the wrong side, buddy. Sorry. Anyone can recruit gets a death Ready scene. Oh, are. yeah, no, it's just that thus far they've been... Um, they've, like, run away from battle. Instead of getting a death scene. Shall we? All right, and now Marion. Yeah, I think I, uh, do that. I have to do this! This is for the best, right? Just like that. The Crest of Flames! <laughs> Quite full of themselves, aren't they? Oh no, I've met a couple of people in battle that I could have recruited. Yeah, thanks. Actually, wait. Going for the kill. Not that I think about it. Thinning their numbers. Here is something to believe in. If 
won't be in vain. Yeah, because I met Hubert in battle. I thought I'd met Ash in battle before as well. Um. Predictable. Yeah, maybe I haven't. Yeah, because I can't recruit Hubert. Exactly. Um... Now yeah. there's a way forward. Yeah. I guess I haven't, huh? Yeah. Too easy. You always remember the ashes, ashes being the first one? Okay. Did well then. Has 50 points of damage. Jesus. not have you do that okay so now the question is if I end my turn here will it be an issue I think the answer is probably no I think I'll need it, but you know, you never know. Okay, so I can have you go up here. And dance Petra. So that she can move again. Another chess key, okay. Did I... Did I not give you a chess key? I didn't give you a chess key. Ingrid, I gave you a chess key. sword. Well. people in next to by left you can access the convoy yeah yeah no I just I exactly I would have to access the convoy that's all keep on getting the range of the pose completely wrong There we go. Hold the 
Actually, this seems like a good chance to go ahead and do that. Since we were just talking about it. Also, shouldn't I have the Sublime Creator Sword on me? Does that seem like a good idea? You know? Oh, is that where you're at? Okay. To, yeah, no. Oh, wow. Each Two crits in a row. Well, let's go, Petra. This is what my game sounds like. <laughs> I love it, though. I love it. Petra's crit lines over and over. <laughs> yeah. See, my game just sounds like Raph's Sorry, crit lines over and over. I want to do my part. Nice work. No. That's right, you're an archer. There we go. I've got no time for mercy. I like the movement plus range thing. That's really doing it for me. Stay down. Someone is not going to be happy. Strength to carry on. Oh no, Dorothea, you're going to get hurt. I'm so sorry. I can physic these people that are like. One hit point down. Must 
lead them well. I've reached the top. Oh, that's wonderful. Master skills for Paladin. Okay. Right. I guess the rest of you are wondering what to do, huh? Okay. Well, we don't seem to be curving around there just yet, so... Really? No one's going? Okay. No, I might as well. Right? Right. Let's win or die. I should have assigned an Ajitant to uh, Shamir, clearly. Now I know. Sending their numbers. Hmm. 
does a wealth like you really expect to kill me? I mean... I am Gwendol, the Grey Lion, a knight by the hand of Count Rome. Do your worst! Ah! Allow me to demonstrate! Well, that's it for him. Nice. So I have found a place to die. Young ones, I thank you. I'll use this power for the greater good. All right, Leone. There's more. That old man must have been struggling with the position he found himself in. It's time to gather ourselves and pull back our troops. Wait, was that it? Oh no! We're gonna go to another chest. No, I wanted the I wanted the rest of the. Oh shit! I didn't get the win conditions, pro. Oh, uh, quite correct. Oh, but there was so much more experience. Oh, God damn it. Okay, well, I'm not going back. My thank you so much. That's right, a passage. Yeah, get into a scrap here of all places. We're lucky we all made it out alive. But there were so many other enemy units still on the map, so much XP just left on the table. Ah! Well, I can see why they call you a hero. Well, that's ancient history. Anyway, long time no see, Professor. Are you still watching this boy's back? Can you quit calling me a boy in front of everyone? I'm the leader of the Alliance now. It's not proper. Not proper, is it? Says the leader who has neglected Alliance territory for years. Oh, we did If you're see really her, the master we? tactician, you should go back to working quietly at whatever little desk you do your planning on. Yeah, uh, don't call me that either. Who even came up with that nickname? <laughs> it's a perfect title for a boy who loves crafty schemes as much as you do. Crafty schemes. You should be grateful to the professor. On your own, you'd look like a scoundrel of a leader. <laughs> That's kind of true. <laughs> Claude's usually so flippant, but even he gets overwhelmed when Judith is around. As expected from the leader of the prestigious House Daphna, her dignity is beyond compare, even if she is no longer one of the five great lords. Uh, the five great lords? That sounds... The five most influential lords of the Leicester Alliance. They like hold the Julie voting stuff? rights at the roundtable conferences. Uh, House Daphne used to be included among their ranks, but division from within has hastened their decline. Their vote has since been passed to the emerging Margrave Edmund. Thanks hmm. for the exposition, Gloucester boy. Hmm. Boy, I will not. I love the meta there. Now to business. There were some unexpected interruptions, but I've brought soldiers and supplies as promised. Thanks, Judith. I'll gladly take them off your hands. Hold your horses, boy. You're misunderstanding. These soldiers are precious to me. I made them what they are. I'm not about to loan them out to someone. No? Then why did you come here? What I'm saying is that I'll be joining your army. You're going to hey, fight hey. the Empire with the Knights of Saros, right? Fight for Lady Rhea? Not without me. That's admirable and all, but we still don't know for sure if Rhea is in the... Oh, she's there. A witness saw Lady Rhea being dragged off by the Imperial Army after the battle five years ago. Are you sure your source is reliable? One of my own saw it happen. I'm certain. It seems we chose wisely when we decided to fight against the Empire. But you're the leader of House Daphne. Is it okay for you to leave your territory unattended? And what about you? Is it okay for you to leave the Regan territory unattended? That's... I... I've left it in the hands of a reliable retainer and... And I've asked that pertaining ah. to watch over Daphne territory as well. Wait, wait, wait. You just up and decided to get my retainer to do that without even asking me? No respect, this one. Ha! Wait, what retainer? Oh, you haven't met him yet, Professor? His name is Nardell. 
He strikes me as a really special individual. And he's quite handsome, too. So that's your definition of handsome? No objections, then. Good. That settles it. House Daphne is now yours to command. I'm sure you'd come along even if I refused. So be it. We'll be counting on you, Judith. With Judith joining our forces, we've secured some more troops and supplies, albeit not many. Hmm. I'm sorry it couldn't be more. No, it's enough for the time being. We'll use them to secure even more troops and supplies. How so? The key to my plan is Count Glost, the leader of the pro-Empire faction in the Alliance. You intend to sway my father to join the other side? If Count Gloucester were to switch to the other side, that would basically unify the Alliance. Then we could utilize our full military force in the fight against the Empire. You don't mean to ask me to persuade him, do you? That would be quite impossible. I don't plan on it. We'll just take his concerns out of the equation. The Aramid River flows along the border between Gloucester territory and the Empire, right? Of all the bridges that cross, the Great Bridge of Murden is the only one near Gloucester territory large enough for an army. Currently, the Imperial Army occupies it. So, if we were to capture the bridge... Count Gloucester would be freed from the threat of the Empire, thanks to us. But hmm. we have to pass through Gloucester territory to reach the Great Bridge of Murden, do we not? Yes, and if we attempted it, naturally he would try to stop us. I am sorry, but I must ask. Surely you do not plan to engage in combat with my father? Don't worry. I want him as a future ally. What good would it do to waste both of our forces fighting? I take it you have a scheme? Who do you think you're talking to, Teach? Preparations are in the works even now. <laughs> so the Master Tactician is finally going to show us his true power. I'm looking forward to it. <sighs> I'll do my best to live up to that name by making my scheme as impressive as possible. Part 2. Verdant Wind. Lone Moon. The Rose-Colored River. The Alliance Army successfully rendezvous with Judith and Aelel. With the addition of House Daphnil's forces, the time has come to invade Empire territory. Well, that was quick. <laughs> okay. All right. Preparations are complete. Now it's a game of patience. As they say, good things come to those who wait. Care to elaborate on this plan of yours, Claude? Can we really do this without battling my father? Pretty soon, Count Gloucester will need to gather his troops in the northern part of his territory. Against Houses Regan and Daphne? You got it, Teach. The combined forces of the Regan and Daphne Houses will threaten the northern part of the Gloucester territory. Nardell, that retainer I mentioned, is going to draw their attention. We'll take that opportunity to make our way through Gloucester territory and launch a surprise attack on the Great Bridge of Murder. And are you not concerned about the possibility that I may tip off my father? The future of the Alliance rests on this battle. I'm certain you won't betray us. <laughs> I will ensure our success. I know you will. If we can win this fight, then our next goal will be to topple Enbar, the Imperial Capital. I said before that my plan was to meddle with the Empire, but I'm gonna do you one better. We are going to defeat the Empire, once and for all. But to do that, we can't afford to slip up here. 
Bear that in mind and prepare yourselves for the coming battle. All right, what's this holiday? Saint Indec Day. Yes, I will participate. Absolutely. As if there's any question. Oh. May my song reach the goddess in the sky. This is no good. Sing from your... Okay. I guess, sure. No, I don't think it is. What now? Uh, no. I don't know what any of your support things are like. Hilda, okay, okay, and Manuela, good. I was waiting for that. All right, let's uh, let's do these. Professor, I asked to be on the sidelines. Why did you put me on the battlefield? You did protect me, so I guess I can't complain. Wait a second, you're hurt. Did that happen when you were defending me? No. You're lying. How could you be so reckless? Perhaps you'll say that that's what friends do. They look out for each other and save each other. But if I saw you getting attacked, I wouldn't risk my neck to save you. Uh, yes, you would. No, don't overestimate me. I don't know if I've told you this, Professor. I have a very impressive big brother. I'm not just saying that. He's strong, smart, nice. He's basically perfect. Before Claude turned up, people talked about him becoming the next leader of the Alliance. Don't mention that to Lawrence, by the way. He never shuts up about that kind of thing. Anyway, my parents have high expectations for my brother, and he almost always meets them. No one expects anything of me. If something's even a little bit difficult, I find someone else to do it for me. That's what I've done my whole life. Are you scared of disappointing people? Of course. I can't stand the idea of not meeting someone's expectations. I know how people react when that happens. From watching my brother, I mean. People force their expectations on you, and then if you fail, they look so disappointed. Whenever that happens to my poor brother, he looks just devastated. So don't expect anything of me, please. That way, I can't disappoint you. I, I won't expect anything, but I believe in you. You're stubborn. Okay, fine. Keep believing in me. I do want to support you and support my friends. I just don't want to let you down. Okay, that's a kind of anticlimactic A-level scene. So I said, two can play at that game. I told him, a small-time little weasel like you ought to be begging me for attention. Oh, it gets me so mad, so worked up. Why aren't there any men around here who understand what a catch I am? Come to think of it, you've always been nice to me. <laughs> if only you were a man. I mean, you listen to all my problems. I feel like I can really trust you. I don't have that kind of thing with a lot of people. close friend I know I know it's a real tragedy I suppose this is what the goddess has ordained so I'll accept it 
All right, enough of this moping around. What we need is a change of mood. We've still got a lot to do together. When I think about that, what are one or two men? <laughs> What's wrong? <laughs> What's wrong is it's not just one or two men, it's more like 100 men, maybe even 200 more. I'm I'm completely Oh, I can't get out of this mood. Actually, I've got an idea. Exercise will help. I'm going to the training ground. Come on and give me a hand. Gonna work my anger out on 100 training dummies. Maybe huh. 200 if we've got them. Ha! Okay. All right. That that's pretty typical, Manuela. Hey, Ignatz. Getting lost in your imagination again? No. Today I am praying. I'm hoping that if I pray with all my might, she will appear before me. The goddess, you mean? Yes. Perhaps it's strange to think about such things. Nah, you're fine. If I had the chance to meet the goddess, I certainly wouldn't say no. Especially your version of the goddess, huh? A total looker, isn't that right? That's a disrespectful way of putting it. I just believe that she's a divine beauty. She'd have to be. Considering how she mesmerized the people of Fodlin when she walked among them. Too true. No doubt an incomparable beauty, that one. And who do you think is lovelier, the goddess or our own Teach? Ha. You can't go around saying things like that. How am I supposed to answer? Funny to think that even now she must be somewhere, right? Well, I guess she's just floating on a cloud or whatnot. Yes, indeed. Watching over us from above. And they say that someday she will return to walk amongst us again. Well, don't mind me. You go ahead and get some good praying in. If the goddess appears, you let me know, okay? What? No. If she does appear, I want it to just be the goddess and me. It'll be way better if I'm there too. I'm saying this for your benefit, Ignaz. Oh my god. Why? Imagine an incomparable beauty standing before you. Do you really think you'll be able to remain calm? Uh, well... That is to say... But if I'm there, I can smooth things over. Have a nice chat, invite her to tea, everything a goddess deserves. Oh, well I suppose that makes sense. Of course it does. Now, get on with it. Pray like you've never prayed before. Uh, about the sports are actually a bit more generic. The cool weird arcs happen in the other sports. Okay, that kind of makes sense, I guess. A little bit. All right, we've got a Shamir. Ha! Huh. Not bad. You're quite skilled. Shamir? What a rare treat for you to start a conversation for a change. Is it? Oh, I it's know the chance. It's not possible you came to ask for my I'm help so with something. Could it be you want to become closer friends? There had to be an echo there. Don't flatter yourself. My bad. That's cruel. You could have at least hesitated a beat before answering. Last we spoke, you were questioning whether or not you belong here. You remember that, do you? Well, yes, I do think this is where I belong. For now. I have things that I want to achieve, and I can only do that by staying right where I am. That said, once I've done what I'm here to do, it's hard to say whether I'll stay or leave. I might end up searching for another place to belong. That is true for most people. Life would be tedious if we knew what lies ahead. Whether or not you belong in a place can change at any time. As soon as you settle in somewhere new, you begin to question your decision. That's true. I guess trying things out and searching for our own path is what life is about. And both of our paths have led us here. This is where we belong right now. Even if it's just a temporary coincidence, we should cherish it while it lasts. What are you going on about now? <laughs> I'm just saying we should make the most Hold of this time, time together. You are here. Don't know how long it'll last. 
once it's gone, it might never come back. Right? Is this your sad attempt at flirting? <laughs> I will admit, you're an interesting one. Oh, it's the teardrops in the rain approach. Um, hold on, welcome back. I hope the uh, traffic was not too terrible. Ah, uh, this is what I have wanted to see. Raph and Ignatz. Hey, Raphael. Reading a letter? Well, if it isn't old Ignatz, I got a message here from my sis. Oh, a letter from Maya. I haven't seen her in so long. I bet she's all is grown up. Is this the first time we've found nah, out what her name she's still is? Trim. It's been a while since I saw her, but she's probably only up to your shoulders. Wow. I can't believe she's gotten that tall. I wrote to tell her about how oh, her friends Oh, no, again. road work. I'm so this? sorry, Hohenheim. Is that the picture I drew for her? She sent it along with the letter. <laughs> I guess she held on to it since we were kids. Oh, huh. that's enough looking. She said to show it to you and send it right back. <laughs> to think she's handling my little doodle with such reverence. That warms my heart. I remember the day I gave Maya that drawing. She looked so happy. Before then, I never knew I could make people happy with art. It was a revelation. I've been drawing and painting ever since, in hopes of becoming an artist one day. You're much better now, so it must be paying off! I bet you could be a real artist. No, that's not possible, I'm afraid. I have to consider my parents' wishes. Who cares what your parents want? It's not like you're a noble or nothing. Your fate is your own! Candlelit dinner, huh. oh my god. You think so? I know so. And I'm gonna support you with whatever dream you got. Okay. I mean, let me see. What's the first step to follow your dreams? Oh, got it. You should paint me. Uh, ha! Paint you? Oh, yeah. fail. I want my little sis to know how good I'm doing here. So I gotta send her proof. Plus, ha. she'll be doubly impressed if it's a painting you made. <laughs> good point. I can certainly try to capture your likeness. I'll paint you with a warm, right? cheerful expression on your face. Raph is the comfort. best himbo my in this face? game. No way! You gotta get my muscles in there! Mostly my chest and arms. Are you sure that's what she'd want to see? Wait! Before you start painting, I gotta get me a little more training in! If my muscles aren't bulging, then what's the point? I'm not sure about this. <laughs> um... French place? Candlelit dinner. Yeah, I was going to say, like, I don't think I've been streaming that long. But then I just looked at the timer and I've been streaming for over four and a half hours. So that is plenty of time for a nice French dinner. Um, I'm so glad you got that. Uh, yeah, a reprieve, especially when you are looking at so, um, so much uh, work for the uh, present that you mentioned. Um, yeah, no, that's going to be that's going to be a uh, nice, relaxing thing. OK, Hannah, Man and Marianne. Let's see if we talk about crests. Uh, Let's talk about Professor crests, Hanneman, baby. You wanted talk to about speak you with me? and me. Miss Marianne, hello. Uh, do pardon the mess. Uh, please have a seat. Of course. I have been puzzling over why your father would wish to conceal your crest. And I have arrived at a conclusion. Would you like to hear it? No, I... <laughs> I would rather not. Fair enough, uh, Marianne. Fair enough. Ah! And I will keep it to myself. However, if my theory is correct, well, then it is only natural for you and your father to try keeping your crest a secret. That said, I feel I would be remiss if I didn't point out that I consider this decision a most grievous error. I'm not sure what you mean. Crests never manifest in someone unfit to bear them. Which means, Miss Marianne, you have the ability to make the most of your crest, because it is, by definition, your crest. I have no desire to make use of my crest. But it can be of service to you. 
and I would venture to suggest to the world at large. Ever since I was born, that crest has been nothing but a burden to me. My parents, too. Ah, that's right. I have heard that you were adopted. Did one of your birth parents also have that crest? Uh, yes, it was my father. Then that crest is mm. evidence that you are your true father's daughter. Concealing it, hiding that truth from the world, is denying your true parentage, is it not? I don't... I'm not suggesting you flaunt your crest. That would be highly unnecessary, possibly even dangerous. Mm. I simply true. wish you to accept who you are. Accept it? Accept the crest and allow its power to come forward. Then it will open itself to you. Whatever the crest may be, whatever its origin or its nature, it can serve you. It is yours to command, however you wish. She get a mushroom fricassee, right? crepe Suzette, and creme brulee. No oh, can nice. How to use your crest, I do love a good man. crepe Suzette. That choice is yours alone. I will. Um, I will think about that. And I've only made creme brulee once or twice, but um, it is surprisingly easy to do, and I should do it more. Seth and Manuela? Oh, melted cum bears and breadsticks. Oh, um... And strawberries. I mean, that just goes perfectly with uh, the common bear. Uh, the strawberries and... Yeah, it's kind of like... It's 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 very reminiscent of like a baked brie with uh, fruits around it as well. Um, also, how did you have all of that? Oh my god, that's... That is, that is a French meal right there. That is impressive. Manuela, a moment. Oh, yes. hello. Sarah. Oh, what was the red? I must apologize, but I'm quite busy. Perhaps we could talk another time? I have already confirmed that you have no urgent business. I would like to hear oh, your smallest explanation. Portions. That makes sense. Yeah. My explanation? For what? Allow me to be more specific. Where were you and what were you doing last night? Oh, my dear Sedith, you must relax that worried brow. Those forehead creases will ruin your beauty. Just answer the question, please. Mm. What question is that? The one you already know the answer to? Last night I had a bit of fun and a bit of drink. Less of one and more of the other, sure, but... How much <laughs> you drink is not my concern. But you are an adult who is tasked with the supervision of children. You should not be causing trouble for the students. It is unacceptable for you to expose them to your disgraceful behavior. Even more so to impose upon them the labor of cleaning up your mess. Oh, don't oversell it. All they did was walk with me back to my room. From what I hear, you had to be carried. I'd like to think I'd remember that. If it happened, and it probably didn't, it's not as if I'm heavy. Nobody hurt themselves, did they? Come on, Sedith. Loosen up. If you're so worried about how I'll behave, why don't you join me for a drink sometime? I mean, I only get in trouble when I drink alone. If it will help to improve your behavior, I would not object to accompanying you from now on. Oh! Well, that sounds just delicious. What are you doing tonight, around...? But first I will lecture you on all of the intricacies of proper behavior in the supervision of children. And until I am done, oh. you will not drink a Oh, nicely alcohol. played, Seneth. If you agree to those conditions, I will join you. I will even drink with you. Alcohol has little effect on me. That is just... You know, getting lectured by you is... Well, I think the word is torture. Yes, that's it. Torture. And I won't have it. <sighs> I'm going to go get a drink and try to forget this ever happened. 
How is it that you imagine yourself the tortured one? Wow. So much judgment in that one. Pegasus Bay Pinot Noir. Okay, I don't think I've had Pegasus Bay. Uh, nice and fruity, earthy undertones. Okay, yeah, sounds like a Pinot Noir. Um, more of a kind of new world Pinot Noir than an old world. Um, I don't really care for the old world style too much. Um, Pegasus Bay. Now I'm curious. Oh, New Zealand. That explains it. Brewed in Australia. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Glass Nevin, New Zealand. Okay. Oh, that's why it sounds familiar. There's also a Pegasus Bay in Brooklyn, New York. Okay. That's probably before you heard it before. Uh, but yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah, I can I can imagine it uh, being nice and bright. Yeah. Uh, headquarters in Christchurch. Is there anything that's not in Christchurch, honestly, in that area? Um, yeah, no, I'll have to uh, see if I can try it sometime. Uh, see if we get it over here. I know we get a few New Zealand things, but mostly those are silver blocks. blocks. Uh, so, you know, I'll have to keep an eye out for some of the Pinot Noirs. Alright, that is it for support scenes. Very new world. Excellent. Yeah, no, I I do appreciate that. Um, there's just a lightness and a balance to those styles of Pinot Noir that I don't think are there with kind of the, the old world, the European ones. Um, which is interesting because... Um, California, where I am, does mainly kind of New World style Pinot Noirs and just north of us in Oregon uh, and Washington, they do mainly Old World styles and the difference is night and day and it's very interesting to see like in two very proximal regions what the difference can be. So, so yeah, um, yeah, I'll have to take a look. Some more geek. Gick? I do not know. Is that a liquor? A wine? Geek wine. Geek a blue wine. Not glue wine. Blue wine. Uh, oh. No, okay. And of course, the first non-advertising article is blue wine from Spain runs afoul of EU law. Geek is no longer authorized to call this beverage wine and the bottle labeling is now required to call Geek 99% wine and 1% grape juice. Ha. Huh. Okay. Okay. This is not something I've experienced. But we're going to be in Spain in a couple of weeks, so hey, maybe maybe I'll get a chance to uh, try it there. Slightly acidic taste with a sudden cheerful sweet burst. Oh, on the finish? That's kind of the, the opposite of how things usually go. That's interesting. Huh. I really want to know how they came by the name Gick. I'm so curious now. I don't know. Uh, very much not like wine, but it's a good thing to try. Okay. Is it more like a kind of like a wine cooler, perhaps? I think given that it's been almost five hours, you know what they say, okay. 
which of the many things that they say is this going to be? When in Spain, do as the Romans do? Yeah, so given that it's been almost five hours and I'm trying to establish maybe a little bit better bedtime than usual, I don't know why, but, you know, it's it's a thing that I'm trying to do. Um, I think that we're going to probably raid out here. So I'm going to figure out who is around to raid. And... I will see you all in probably just under a month. So um, thank you so much for joining everyone. Uh, Hohenheim, glad to see you back again. Yeah, how else will I party at a rock festival in Austin and then be on a cruise for two weeks? I know, right? <laughs> it is more or less bedtime. Um, yes, uh, my schedule, my schedule will probably be, uh, blown all the hell, but, uh, for just one shining moment, I want to try and get it under control. Given the key, the ears and all, yeah, exactly. I need, I really need to get some, uh, fox ears printed for these. Um, I like these. I like, these are great, but, um, yeah, no, I, I feel like another shape would probably do a little bit better and I could do it on my printer over there if I just did the designs and figured out how to do it properly. So look forward to that in a stream in the not too terribly near future. <laughs> all right, but thank you once again for joining me. Uh, I hope you all have a wonderful month, a wonderful October. Hohenheim, great to see you. Um, I'm glad your dinner was was delicious, and thank you for sharing about the red. Uh, and everyone else, I'll see you in probably like four weeks or something. So until then, don't do anything I wouldn't do, which is like two things. So you should be fine. All right. Take care, everyone, and I will see you later. Oh.